Blake Shore, and welcome to A Week in Review, where we take a look at some stories you might have missed this week. Manitowoc County now has a new ag educator. Angie Olness accepted the position and will begin in her new role in the county on December 15th. Olness has been very active in the ag community as she and her family have been operating a dairy farm in the county since 2002. The cities of Manitowoc and Two Rivers will no longer be partnered with the Manitowoc Area Visitor and Convention Bureau. Both cities now creating their own tourism teams. Manitowoc Mayor Justin Nichols told us that they're now looking to hire people to be a t- director of tourism, a destination marketing manager, and a media and special events coordinator. Also, in Two Rivers, the city council has signed a purchase agreement with Trivers LLC out of Oshkosh, headed by real estate developer Art Doomkey, to purchase the former Paragon Partners property. That property has been vacant for more than 20 years after being foreclosed on. Two Rivers did eventually purchase the property during a share of sale in 2019. Trippers LLC now has 90 days to decide whether they want to go through with the purchase. And in your sports, an inline speed skating team in Manitowoc preparing for their first competition this weekend. The team, unofficially known as the Roll Air Raptors, will be in Cedarburg on Sunday and will be led by their highly decorated coach, Carly Valdez. We will have the full results from the meet on WOMT and Cub Radio Monday morning, as well as on CHAFORNEWS.com. You can always find more local news online anytime at cafornews.com. But before we go, I would like to remind everyone that CA for Broadcasting is collecting items for the Crossing in Manitowoc as a part of our Giving Tree event. Stop on into our studios at Mangan Street in Manitowoc to see what items are needed. Thank you in advance for your generosity. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend, and we will see you next week.